I may not be a mathematician, but today we vlog day 1018. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day 18 of my 20 and 20. I'm bouncing around the 18th arrondissement here in Paris. And if you recognize Place de Clichy behind me, it's because this is where I ended yesterday, or roughly where I stopped. The reason I decided to come back here was not just for continuity's sake, but also because there's a Space Invader up here that I could not get. I'm gonna try one more time, and then I'm gonna head to one of my favorite croissants in the entire city, because I feel like you might enjoy being introduced to that. It is, of course, in my video on the best croissants in the city, as well as in my guide. Ah. Here's that Space Invader. <coughs> Just that quickly. <coughs> gotta turn around. I gotta try and flash this. I'll be right back. That actually worked first try. Okay, I gotta figure out the fastest route to Gantrain Cherrier, which is one of my favorite croissants in the whole city. Very good. We'll start there, and then I think we'll go straight up to Montmartre before the crowds get there. One of the things that I didn't realize, I've known about this cemetery, but it's also called the Cemetery Montmartre. There are two cemeteries in the 18th that seem notable at least. One of them is the Cemetery Montmartre. This one's down at the bottom of the hill. I don't know if that's correct, so I'm gonna try and find a plaque to verify that, but uh, I'm going the long way around to get to the croissant, which is, I think, noble in my intentions, but not necessarily what my stomach appreciates the most. <laughs> I'm having serious issues with my camera uh, automatically stopping recording this morning, so if there's any dramatic drops in the uh, monologues in particular, sorry, I'll try to fill you in as I go. So good. I think these guys are expanding because I saw that they moved into Gare de Lyon, one of the train stations. That's good news for everybody, because they're really, really good. Okay, I'm heading up the hill. I'm gonna go straight to Montmartre, like the little village portion of it because the touristy stuff gets pretty swamped pretty quickly in the day. I don't really want to be bouncing around in there when there's tons of people. So we'll go see that. Sacre Coeur. Hopefully by then, Ceylon will be open. Go grab coffee. And then we'll go wander and explore some of the areas of Montmartre that maybe you've never seen before. Like this. The back half of the hill is one of those parts that a lot of people have never gone and visited, and I highly recommend you get to the back half of the hill because it's quieter, nicer, and uh, really one of my favorite parts of the city. Another spot that's in my guide, that half the fun is figuring out how to get in, is Hotel Particulier, which is not far from where I am right now, going up the hill. Hot tip, it's down that little private road. So I think it's basically the mansion of a former fashion designer. I can't remember, I used to know the history of this. Turned into, a, feels like a private club slash bar. Kind of tricky to get into it. But then the environment's a lot of fun. It's kind of ridiculous. There are chickens wandering around all over the place. Anywho, we're getting close to the top of the hill already. This was a lot easier than I expected. I love this wheel. The Artist's Square. They're really upping their table game. I don't know what the schedule is like, when they have tables out, when they don't. They're not always out though. Sometimes this place is just full of artists, sometimes it's shared between artists and restaurants. Today it looks like it'll be artists and restaurants. Some really nice art up here. You can get your face drawn, not like face paint, but like you can sit down and somebody will sketch you, caricature you, paint you. Pretty cool. And then there's a bunch of original art. There's a lot of art around the city. I'm not gonna say you should buy art from here specifically because you'll see people on the river all over the place, but personally I think some of the best souvenirs are souvenirs that you pick up from local artists, people that are actually creating art. And the people that are in this square are actually, are actual artists. They're not just sitting on the river like pretending to paint a print and then selling you other prints. The art up here is legit. It's great. And there's some space invaders around here. Let's go check out Sacre Coeur, the famous church on top of the hill, the basilica, and then uh, coffee time. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I thought I'd need it. But of course, before we go to the front of the church, I gotta give you one more tip, which is also another intro character location. So if you didn't recognize that as being the location for the intro character of Fridays, America Suit Mondays was shot back behind the church in this fantastic little park. 
that most people ignore or never even come around to see, you'll see that there's a huge drop off in the number of people that actually come around behind the church. But the park Marcel Blustin Blanchet is a wonderful little park that is highly worth a visit. And I'm just gonna pop in and show you real quick. So I so I thought I needed I love this park. All right, we'll go to the front of the church, which I can't film inside the church. Not allowed to film inside Sacre Coeur, at least they ask you not to. So uh, we'll see the front of it, the view. And then, come on, I hate this watch. And then it's coffee time. For sure. So I thought I needed And don't forget, as you walk away from the church, just kind of come down this gentle slope and you're gonna discover a park here that you might have seen Oliver and I live stream from. This park has a nice little view of the Eiffel Tower. It's a great spot to sit. And again, not a lot of tourists come over here, which is one of the best parts. Of course, today is extra hazy, so uh, Eiffel Tower shots might be a little bit difficult. I haven't checked the air pollution report for today, but I'm guessing it ain't good. Okay, from here, I'm gonna bounce my way down, quite literally, to Ceylon. Ceylon, if you remember in my guide, also in the game, if you wanna grab some stickers, fantastic coffee, and I'm actually most excited about their uh, carrot cake. I just gotta figure out the best way to get down the hill with the wheel. I might actually cheat and take the just so I can get a fun shot, and also I wanna ride all the way down the hill on the cobblestones right now. This is only the second time I've ever taken this thing, and while it feels kind of silly, because I'm fine taking the stairs, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's a lot of stairs. What is, I mean, I'm not. Closures, the plague of closures on a 20 and 20, I tell you what, an exceptional, wait, from the, they, they closed from the 25th? Come on, I hate this watch. Man, I knew I should have texted them in advance, but I was looking forward to surprising them. I want carrot cake. That's okay, I have a backup. Thankfully, unlike the 17th, 16th, 14th, and 13th, I have more than just one coffee shop here. I got plenty. And one of my favorites is just another block away. We'll go visit French Laura at Cuillère and uh, get some coffee from her. Just no carrot cake. Dang it. Well, while we're at Abess, I might as well show you the love wall, just in case you were curious where this was. If you come out the Abess metro stop, Cuillère and Silon are just down the street, but right behind it is a little park, and that has the love wall. Classic photo stop. But in the meantime, I, uh, I want a coffee stop, so that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, all you do is step out, literally step out at Abess right here, and then walk straight down the first street you see. Rue Yvonne Le Tec and you're set. Also, fun random fact about French, tac. I don't know if Yvonne Le Tech just made lots of noises or not, but tac is kind of the noise you make when you're making things, like tac, tac, tac. It's my little French tip for the day. Like when you're putting things in order, you'd be like tac, 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 and there it's done. Bingo, bango, bongo. I guess it's kind of the equivalent. I, I need coffee. Wait, the what? The what? Wait, is today? Oh, today's Tuesday. That's right. They're closed on Mondays and tu Mondays and Tuesdays now. <sighs> Here, I thought I was going to be all clever and quick and well organized, and I am screwed. So, thing is, I was going to do the front half of the. Kind of gotten a feel for the front half of Montmartre. We've seen the top, very touristy. We're wandering through the southern side of the hill, which is also pretty touristy, but more local again. Gonna wander back through the central part, right directly in front of Sacre Coeur, which you can see tons of videos that I've done about Sacre Coeur, the view from there, all that kind of stuff. If you want to wander through my other offerings, but in order to get coffee from a place that I want to, there is one option that's 
closer by here, but I don't really feel like going there. I wanted to go to Lomi, which is a roaster who also teaches roasting courses. They're just like about 10 minutes away by wheel, which isn't too bad, but it's definitely a little bit more, uh, ah, whatever, we'll just do that. And then we'll do the back half of the hill. Guess that's how we're dividing it. We're just dividing it forcibly today. So I'm gonna wander around to the northeastern corner of uh, the 18th, grab some coffee. We'll regroup and uh, we'll do a little bit more wandering. Thank God, they're open. All right, coffee. So delicious, so happy to finally have coffee in my system. Okay, from here, I wanna get back on the hill, but first, let's fast forward to- Jules Jaffran. Jules Jaffran is where you'll find the mayor's office of the 18th. There's also a church here. Also, realized that the uh, the name of the cemetery on the hill is different. It's Cemetery of Saint Vincent. But this is a fantastic area. If you get out at this metro stop and you walk, you start walking up the hill, you're gonna find a lot of really great stuff, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, including one of my favorite tap houses in the city. If you walk down a little ways, you find some great restaurants as well, which is where I'm gonna go have lunch. So we'll be back to Jules Jaffran in no time flat. But before we do that, I wanna find a route back up the hill and show you a couple. There's There are a million things I could show you in the 18th. It's unending. I actually have like a dream of, of moving here to like live on the hill and relax. I don't know if you remember Badger, but Badger lived just up the hill here in one of the best parts of the city. Seriously, I, I have a fantasy about moving into Montmartre. But until then, we're just gonna go up to the top. I'll show you like one or two things. Maybe we'll go find the vineyard and then we'll pop back down the hill for lunch. I also used to live just down the street over here. I just passed my old apartment. When I first moved to Paris like six or seven years ago, however long ago it was that I first moved to Paris, I just lived down the street from here. I was a lucky guy and I didn't even realize just how lucky I was. Actually, that, that living, that having, housing situation kind of sucked, but that's a story for another time. Let's go up the hill. Le Barbilon, love that place. I've done a bunch of meetups there fantastic. Now one of the problems you're gonna run into if you have a wheel is stairs. There are stairs everywhere here, which are great if you're walking for riding the wheel. I gotta go around. Forget it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the stairs this one time because otherwise it's gonna take forever to go around. But from here I'm riding. Just in case you didn't realize there was a vineyard in Montmartre, that's one of the fun facts. Apparently the wine out of this isn't that good. I've never had it. People do warn you away from it. That's the reputation it has, at least. I don't know, I've never had it. I would love to try it, but it's also something like 40 euros a bottle, so odds are slightly against it. Uh, I've already climbed the hill twice now with my wheels, so I think instead of going any further up, I'm gonna work my way back down. It's getting close to lunchtime. There's so much more that we could see and do and explore up here. It's kind of hard to limit myself to any one thing. I just passed a bunch of bakeries that are really good. There's a lot of really good stuff around here. Oh, you know what I'm gonna go see? I'm gonna go see if the Lamarck Calancourt metro sign has been repaired yet because that is my favorite in the entire city and was destroyed during the World Cup and I hope it's back. I don't think it is though. Well, I learned something today because I always thought that was the Montmartre Cemetery, but that's the Cemetery de Saint Vincent. Had that backwards this whole time. I love that little cemetery though, it's really nice. Right underneath the church in the distance. It's great, okay. Just across the street from here and down these stairs to the Marc Coulancourt. It is a metro station with the coolest, most iconic metro sign that was unfortunately destroyed thanks to World Cup revelry. And is it back? Will it be back? Nope, it's still not there. Ah, oh, it sucks. Maybe we may never get it back. Probably pretty low priority, which I understand, but still. I'll try to find and put a, a picture up or two for you so that you can see it. I want it to come back so badly. Let's uh, mosey on down the hill and try to find ourselves some lunch. Oh, 
So these guys are actually in my guide twice, or at least on my mapster twice, because they've got another location down in the array, which is also really good. But their customer service up here at their main restaurant is phenomenal. They even let me come inside early to warm up because it's really cold outside. And uh, yeah, so they're letting me just chill while we wait for the kitchen to open, which is really nice of them. I'm really hungry. I'm really ready for this burger. Oh, it was so good. It's been a long time since I've been here. Like, I don't think I've been here in a year, almost a year. And I just wanted to double check that the customer service was still as good as I remember it. It is, it was, super nice. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. I feel like there's so much more I could have touched on in the 18th, so many more things we could have seen. We barely scratched the surface. I really wanna come back and spend as much, I just love this neighborhood. I wanna come back and spend as much time as possible here. And I think I will again in the future. But for now, that's gonna be a wrap for the 18th day of my 20 and 20. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for day 19 in the 19th around these month. And I uh, hope you'll join me for that. See you tomorrow.